Oh, sweet. About to say D Franks, man. Team is gonna camp this bush here. As they feel like they're doing so much here, they haven't moved the inch. <laughs> I think Zed might have DC'd. Oh wow. Oh yeah. You might be playing on the same internet. They are both here. That's up to them, really. I love the passing on Rage Blade. Ah, oh, slight misplay there. That was uh, badly played there. They were trying to fight for the altar, but they, um, they should, like, I mean, don't give it up, but gotta realize that you still have a guy that's level one because of DC. You should, like, wait a little bit, play a little bit more patiently until, like, the levels catch up. Now Olaf level five. CSing like a boss.
Yeah, they can definitely just ask for a remake. And I think it's also a tournament draft, so they can actually, uh... Pause it. I don't know how to pause it. And what sucks is that the reason why the gold advantage gets so bad early is because, um... Getting the alters get like gives you so much gold and then it gives you gold as you're going. Fire kill series. GG. This Olaf is farming good. This is really bad. They're trying to. Looks like they're trying to capture. The, the thing, but they're not really going to be able to get it. Teemo's now 6 and will start taking large map control. That is level 3. He's not going to be able to... Or they can do that. The problem with what they're doing is going to be a kill. They were going in with like one at a time. Aw, oh, I see what he's trying to do. He's hoping at the tower where aggro and then fight him under the tower. Takes another tower shot. Has to be really careful there. See, this is a little bit better coordination. That was just bad because he stayed for way too long. No reason to stay with low health like that. And no reason to come up like that. Terrible, terrible. like it's epic anime AMV uh, quotation not quotation but like parentheses grand battle GRV music something gonna dive cog whoa why luckily still gets the kill there it's out of the range
It's number 79 if that helps, Taji. They're just making really bad decisions. It, I can't even blame it on the DC. Like, the, the fights that they're choosing to fight and, like, the execution of some of their plays aren't going off as well. Like, they've been fighting for this altar for way too long. I see what he's trying to do. He's trying to get the altar. But that's just... Timo's obviously just gonna shroom around it. And I've been seeing um, Joe Vine, or at least one person on the team, always pick this up. The Hex Tech Sweeper, because it's like a, a, a warding mist. It's not the DC. After that DC, they made a good play and made it 4-2. to two. Ever since then, they've been making bad decisions, and that's why it's 11-3. They've been really trying to fight so hard for that altar, where they could have just, like, fought them on it, instead of just trying to capture it. Like, they're ahead. They're going to have map control and stuff like that. Teemo is going to be shrooming, so you're going to take some AP damage. Walking into this guy's rooms. So here we go again. And there's a shroom right there. Like you have to you have to really They gotta play it out slightly better. They both get hit into the stream mushroom. Gonna lose a decent amount of damage for that. Cog can't be in the front. Like that's just like certain things. Bad positioning. Cog can't be in the front um, in a fight like that. You can't. You can't have Kogma in the front. Um, you need Maokai. Zed is not that tanky, um, so he really can't be in the front much either. But you just can't have Cog in the front. I feel like it's kind of hard to come back on Twisted City Line. It's it's very rigged. Controlling those two altars and having any type of map control, I feel like I feel like it's just very difficult. The cog actually, the player himself has been playing very well. He played well in the other ones, in other matches. Um, it just seems like he's having a, a little bit of trouble playing from behind. And it sucks that they have a snowball team. That also doesn't help. See some slight jungling. They are behind in levels, but what do you want? You gotta pan out like Teemo, though. Like, they can't even go to their altar without taking massive damage. They have to stand on it in order to capture it. And all Teemo has to do is build shrooms around it. And also what's bad about it, Cog has absolutely no protection. Mao is his best thing at it. You, Cog, you need a lot of protection as well.
What's up, Exotic? Here goes another shroom. Ugh. Oh. That's it. All they have to do is just keep shrooming up objectives and they're fine. Like, I like when you're playing with Teemo, um, and then he just shrooms up Baron. And then you can just force a fight there and they'll lose, like, the majority of their health just trying to get there. Wow. He actually has boosts of swiftness. Oh my god. So it's 19-3, Grand Finals, and it's going to be rough, but there's Rocky music in the back, and that means anything can happen, because this is montage music. I say you ban out Timo. I know his KO was doing really good and stuff like that, but Timo and like Shaco. Oh no, why? Probably just wanted to go fight on him just for the hell of it. He was three levels above him though. Five level difference between uh, Cog and Olaf here. Timo not even there. I hate Maokai's ult. It does shit damage. Like, literally shit damage. I know what it's for. Still does shit damage. I 
I'd rather it be like the same size of that alt and you just throw it down and it just helps your teammates. Not some shitty thing that like they have to stay within that alt in order for it to like protect and you have to fight within it and shit like uh oh. Yeah, basically like a Zyra ult, but it, like it just gives your team like health or like armor or something like that or some dumb shit. They take reduced damage for a certain amount of time. Oh god. Well. See, look, this champion has increased attack speed and cooldown reduction. 